What's going on guys and welcome to a PAX West news video. In this video we're going to talk about the FNAF booth and the Secrets of the Memo demo uh, spoilers and we're going to be talking about anything, you know, PAX West related that's been revealed already. Things are being revealed live so I'm going to try to have to edit this video together, <laughs> upload it, and also keep it as recent as possible. Um, we'll see. I'll make multiple videos. I might make multiple videos today. I don't know. I'm double uploading today. Um, I have a very special FNAF fan game coming out later so make sure to go check out that video. But let's get straight into the news. And let's start with the Secrets of the Memo demo spoilers. So right here we have a big list of things that have happened at the Mimic or the the demo at PAX West. There's a demo of Secrets of the Mimic, and this is the explanation of everything that happens in it. It's two levels in the demo: Manager's Office and the Chase. Gameplay is akin to actual free roaming VR games. Hello Neighbor VR options for moving around with the joystick or teleporting in tow. Game is set in a toy factory. What? Honestly, didn't have much visual connection to FNAF outside those Fredbear's Family Diner posters from the Security Reach Extras being donned on the walls, and what appeared to be a schematic for a mascot version of Mr. Hippo. Mr. Hippo, what is he doing here? Demo is very short. Got down with both levels in about five minutes tops. Ooh, that's interesting. Maybe it's not completed levels, probably? It is a demo, so. In manager's office, you explore the manager's office of that factory, I guess. A wall is broken in there which takes you to a small room in the factory where you wind up the box from the trailer and get introduced to Jack the Box the character. Who I believed is voiced by Martha from what it sounds like. So the voice of Roxy. So we're not even losing the characters from Security Breach. Um, there's also big news that supposedly um, Mimic is voiced by Kellen Goff. Well, not supposedly. Apparently it's set in stone that he is the voice actor. I can't confirm that nor deny it. Um, when the things come out, I'll be able to like explain what's going on. Uh, I'm actually getting notifications still now. <laughs> I'm still getting notifications. Um, but, I don't know. That's interesting. So, from there, you... Wait. So, that means Martha is voicing the Jack in the Box, but Ellen is voicing Mimic? Interesting. That's very interesting. From there, you take the crank to open a door in the manager's office, which takes you down a hallway leading to the mail room featuring a... NPC reminiscent of the staff bots who store sorting the mail. You find a generator that is not active which connects to a door. You keep pumping one of those pull cords lawnmowers to here to activate the generator. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is like a pull cord, okay. But you do this as the Jack of the Bot character comes through the door. You did in tears... What? Oh, you did in tears stuff up in the office. Animation on that is really good, apparently. Um, doors open. You go in and try to hide an event, but it falls through, and that's where the manager's office ends. Okay, the chase picks up, I guess, um, from this, and you're deeper in the facility. Jack in the Box is trailing you for a little while until you get to this elevator and activate it, then you start the chase. Chase is pretty standard, or substandard, probably playtime-esque chase scene. Uh, you keep Jack in the Box hands slammed to the walls to the left and right of you. Ooh, that's cool. So he's like slamming his heads to the left and right, like punching the walls, kind of. That's really cool. You crouch through some vents. You pull a couple levers here and there, etc., etc. You escape from Jack in the Box through another hole in the floor. You climb through a vent. You hear Puppet Box remix from the trailer. The demo ends you with Jack in the Box finding you in the vent, grabbing you, and then it falls through again. Interesting. So that is everything that's been revealed about the Secrets of the Mimic demo. Uh, but we have the full booth from PAX West we're going to take a look at. But first... Let's take a look at this little silly guy that Daco posted. Look at him. Look at him. This is the, the Jack in the Box, I'm assuming? Or Mimic? I'm not too sure. He has some hair, though, which is really cool. He's got, like, a jester hair. But this is a, a good look at Daco. Hey, Daco. He's looking, looking beautiful as ever. Looking cute as ever. And then you have the Mimic up here. Or Jack in the Box. I don't really know this character anymore. I'm, I'm lost. Okay? I'm just as lost as you guys. I'm pretty sure this is the Jester, um, which is very cool. You have John FNAF posting the same thing. Which is very cool. Which is actually super cool. And that's it. And then we have one more thing that Coda posted. Which is, this is the full booth from PAX West. We have the FNAF movie uh, entrance right here. You have a hand coming out. So this is like the same hand from last year. When you saw like the hand in the top ceiling. If I can get a picture of that, I'll show you guys that. And so something to do with this hand. They're really doing stuff with this hand. I'm not too sure. But here you have the 10 years cupcake, a giant cupcake. You can see the prize counter in the back, the happy birthday banner from FNAF 2. A lot of cool stuff. See the let's party right here. And then you have like a stage over there, happy birthday prize counter. You have the giant stage. This is from Help Wanted 2. You have the cupcake thing. You have like mini games from Into the Pit and Rue or in, um, Help Wanted 2. 
you have plush or, or <laughs> you have flesh puppet. No, this, you have the puppet in a box, which is this is really detailed. Uh, Del Regular Sauce probably made this. The goat, absolute goat. Um, and then you have the second thread. Um, the fun faz facts. I don't know what this means, but post your party pics with hashtag FNAF something, uh, FNAF PAX West something. I can't read that, but is this like a photo booth maybe? I don't really know. I don't know what this is. Maybe there's a fast fact that comes on the screen and it says stuff. Not too sure what that means. You have a really cool f statue of Freddy. He looks kind of weird, but it's a, it's a statue of Freddy. He looks really cool. I really like his face. He looks really cool. Um, cool textures. Very nice. You have a, a cupcake, a 10-year cupcake um, LED light. And then you have a thing with every single book on it, including talking about see the movie, which is cool. I think this is just a scholastic normal render thing that they have. And then the next set, we have the Glamrock animatronics on the stage. So this is the stage we saw earlier. These are their, their colors, their LEDs. Then we have the arcades again. You have a UCN arcade, which I think you can actually play UCN there. If someone beats 50-20 there, I generally think I'll give them $20. If someone beats 50-20 there, I'll give them $20. I'm just saying. If you're somehow there and watching this video, $20. That's it, $20. And you have uh, the cupcake, and you have this, like, try i guess it's like a who you are type thing so it's like those it's like those couples thing um where you like hit it and then it's like tells you you put two hands on it and it tells you like if you guys are a good couple or not or compatible but this is like fnaf animatronics so i guess it tells you what character you are um and then this is you get some party tables i guess they have like food and stuff i'm not too sure they they have oh no this is this is like painting and stuff they have like painting they have paper pal stuff and stuff like that you have a wet floor sign right here then you have more neon signs. Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, and Chica. <laughs> Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, and Chica. There's no Foxy. And you have a few extra things like this. Look your best. It's like a thing where you can buy merch. Uh, you have everyone's watching you, which this is interesting. I, I wonder what that's about. And you have a bunch of books and a bunch of pins. And then the last but not least thing is the Chica's Cupcake Cabinet. Freddy's. Cup cupcake bonanza and that's the you can put 25 cents in and grab something and you keep it Alrighty, there's a few things that i missed that i'm going to add into the video near the end um here you have actual gameplay of secrets of the mimic i mean it's not much but you have like the menu of secrets of the mimic you can see where it's like you put on the vr headset you can click continue and you know you play the different games and stuff but it's telling you spacious all the different stuff which is really cool um there's getting gameplay somewhere people are uh People are streaming it in Discord somewhere, so we're going to have to, to find the gameplay. Someone's got to upload it, and we'll be able to review it on this channel. I think Daco's probably going to upload it. When Daco does, we will for sure be uploading that on the channel and watching it and reacting to it and breaking it down. So make sure to subscribe, you know, for when that happens. And the last thing is this is a kind of a description of it saying, Cloud with extended arms, Security Beach style jump scare, Elevator, Happy Frog, The Death, the death is a film reel, which is interesting. And, um... So yeah, um, that is everything it seems like for PAX West so far. I'll make another video probably tomorrow. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe and turn post notifications on. I also have a video releasing later today that you should check out. And uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.